John, but it's Spurgeon on the Lithicoochee River. Got two John boats, seeing if we can find any deadfalls. Hey, if I don't narrate, it didn't happen, right? Fishing lines. Here we have the $100 million waterfall, otherwise known as the outflow from Valdosta's Withacoochee Wastewater Treatment Plant. Found a deadfall. That was quick. So most of the trip is like this. Just smooth sailing. We got a little bit of rapids. Wasn't much of a problem. Trail pipeline sign. Still ugly. He's wondering what the hell we're doing. And up there, the bridge. Coming up on Spook Bridge, the famous, the infamous. On the left there where it's kind of eroded, that's where we used to take out for the mayor and chairman's paddle. Yes, it involves ropes to haul the boats up. But uh, it's doable. And as you can see when we get closer, it's not as bad as it looks because you can kind of slope up to the upstream side. Yeah. Bad enough though. This is Baloo Island, a little bitty third acre island in the middle of the Withacoochee River. Said to be big enough to camp on, according to the guy that owns it. You better watch the weather if you do that to make sure the river isn't going to come up. What's in that thing? Black tea extract. Well, that's ironic in a black tea tannin colored river. Some trash, though. Collected some trash. Found some trash on Okapilco Creek, just above Piscola Creek, which is right down there. We are now exiting Okapilco Creek, returning to the Withacoochee River. I can see why, if you're coming up from Knight's Ferry, it's relatively easy to spot. Coming downstream, all you see are these willows. Bill saying something. I better find my lightning. narrower some of these would be a problem but it's plenty wide here what have you caught Quinn I don't know more black tea I think hmm can you make it leak over the side it seems it is yep what's in those things Quinn black tea extract in huh? river water in black water tea colored river water <laughs> 